Have you been struggling with dealing enough damage since the latest update? Or you just want to do the most damage possible for your team? Well, I got five major tips that will allow you to destroy breakables super fast and get tons of diamonds. If you are new to the channel or Pet Simulator as a whole, make sure you are subscribed for the best content on Pet Simulator 99. We cover topics like this all the time on the channel and provide resources to help you guys excel at the game. Well, if you are new to the game, you're probably wondering why damage is really so important in Pet Simulator 99. Now, damage is super important for quite a few reasons, but probably the main reason is that in the game, your item drops as well as your diamond drops are all calculated by how much damage you are giving to that breakable. And for this reason is why you want to be doing the absolute most damage you can do so that you can get the most diamonds out of your breakables as well as drops. For example, if you damage a breakable and then someone else comes along and destroys the rest of that breakable, you are not going to get the same amount of drops from that breakable compared to if you had just destroyed it all yourself. Now, this system can be good and bad, but probably on the good side is that as you get stronger, you're going to be earning more and more diamonds, even if you are grinding the same area, because you're going to be outputting that much more damage. So for that reason, you are constantly progressing, even if you aren't moving on to different levels in the game, which is why upgrading your damage at any level you are at in the game is super important because you're going to be able to earn a lot more diamonds as you increase how much damage you're doing. But on the other side of this, this does mean you can can't just sit in the final area with some other people that have stronger pets and get the same amount of drops as they are because of course the amount of drops you are getting is based on how much damage you are doing to those breakables so in this game it is actually the most beneficial for you to be grinding in a private server because your pets are going to be able to hit all of the breakables and get the most amount of drops possible now i'm not sure if this actually matters until you get to a certain point in the game but i would suggest doing it once you get at least a full team of exclusives but basically all of this being said is is to just say that damage is really key when it comes to Pet Simulator 99 because damage is incorporated in so many of the mechanics in the game. Let's start off this list with probably one of the most overlooked tips for maximizing your damage output in Pet Simulator 99, which is going to be your pet equip slots. Now, I've actually seen multiple people with whole teams of huges that haven't actually maxed out their pet equip slots, which is absolutely insane because these are so valuable and add a ton of damage output to your setups. Now, of course, I don't have the max pet equip slots on this account because this is my trading account and I'm only rank 19. But if you are grinding on your account, you're going to want to get the max level so you can buy each and every one of these pet equip slots. Now, these slots are extremely beneficial for damage output because you're getting a whole new set of power for each of those slots that you buy. Now, when people ask me for advice about the game, they often tell me that they would rather just upgrade some of their stat pets to some exclusives or something. Now, the reason this isn't a good idea is because when you get a new pet equip slot, you're adding a whole new set of power to your team instead of just upgrading a singular unit. For example, a shiny 90% exclusive is going to give you a 26% damage buff over whatever your best stat pet is but if you were just to go ahead and buy another pet equip slot you could fill that with another stat pet and you would be getting a hundred percent additional damage instead of just that 26 percent and not only is it more cost effective when you get another pet that pet is going to be able to go ahead and damage other breakables while your pet is damaging one, which actually speeds up efficiency by a multiple, but it's kind of hard to explain the math there, so you're just going to have to trust me. Literally, to anybody that plays the game at every rank, I would suggest that you absolutely max out your pet equip slots, and every time you rank up, you should be buying those new pet equip slots because they increase your efficiency so much. The other thing is that these pet equip slots are permanent for your account. So by buying them, you're never going to have to upgrade them in the future like you would with an exclusive pet, for example. So tip number one, maximize your pet equip slots because they are so useful. Now, number two, and probably the most mistaken tip on this list is upgrading your pets in the wrong order and in an inefficient way. So basically the idea is that choosing the wrong pets for your current level at the game 
could lead to you wasting a ton of diamonds and pretty much slowing down your progression in the game. And the biggest example of this is probably when I see people immediately trying to go from their stat pets to buying a huge pet instead of going with the exclusive route. In reality, going from stat pets to huges is extremely inefficient and will slow down your progress with the game pretty significantly. So on the screen here, I'll have a chart with the damage numbers for all of the exclusives, comparing them to a level 72 huge. As you guys can see from this list, a rainbow 95% pet actually does pretty much the exact same damage as the level 72 huge does. And this rainbow 95% exclusive is doing this damage while costing less than half the price of a huge pet. Now, obviously you do not have to start from a rainbow 95% pet. When upgrading your stat pets, I usually suggest that people go for a whole team of regular exclusives first and then upgrade those exclusives to shiny exclusives just because the overall value for those shiny exclusives are kind of decent for what they provide. And then finally, from those shiny exclusives, that's when I suggest that people usually begin building up their huges. Now, personally, this is just the way I did it because I found it the most efficient. But in reality, you're probably just gonna wanna go with upgrading to exclusives that you find for a good deal because the difficulty with buying exclusives is that there really aren't that many on the market. So it is kind of difficult to pick up a significant amount of a specific kind. So as as you're plaza hopping it's probably best to just pick up the ones that you find for a good deal so hopefully by the time you want to upgrade to huges they have appreciated in value pretty significantly and then if you have reached this level where you got all huges on your team I would suggest fully skipping the golden huges just because the current prices of them aren't worth it for the additional damage that they do so I would skip the gold huges altogether and just go straight for shiny huges because by the time that you do reach this level, a lot of your regular huges will be level 99, which will be able to get you some overpay and will make getting those shiny huges that much easier. But that's pretty much it from tip two. You're just going to want to upgrade your team in an efficient manner or else it's going to take you a lot longer to move along with your team. And that actually leads me to the third tip, which is that you should be using the right stat pet for your team. Now, stat pets can be extremely confusing for people that just started the game because they don't necessarily work how you would think they do. For example, if we look at this rainbow void alien and compare it to the rainbow shiny version, while the rainbow shiny version only has less than 200 billion power difference, it actually does double the damage of the rainbow void alien. So basically there's a special calculation for how damage is actually calculated. So the damage differences between these stat pets is a lot more significant than the power difference. Now why this is important is because your stat pets are going to be determining how much damage your exclusives and all of your huges do. Now these numbers are going to change with every update as new stat pets come out but on the screen here I'm going to have the test that I did from this update so you can know how much of a damage difference there is between these various stat pets. Now on this list I only have the four strongest stat pets in the game and this is because these are pretty much the only ones you want to be using every update. So I'm going to be referring to them as their ranking currently in update 9. So if you don't have a full team of exclusives or huges, the bare minimum stat pet that you're going to want to be using is going to be the fourth strongest stat pet of your current update. Now obviously from this chart, the Rainbow Void Alien is currently that fourth strongest stat pet. So in update 9, you're going to be wanting to use these for your team at minimum. But if you do have a decent amount of exclusives built up, I would definitely suggest using the rainbow black hole because as you can see on the chart, this pet is going to give you an 84% damage increase over that rainbow void alien. So 84% increased damage for all of your exclusives for just 3 million diamonds at the moment is actually an extremely good deal. So I'd say if you have anywhere over like 10 exclusives, you should definitely be using the third strongest stat pet at least. Now, if you are nearing a whole team of exclusives and some huges, then you should definitely be having the second strongest stat pet, which is currently the rainbow shiny version of the void alien. Now, right now in update nine, this thing is only 4 million diamonds, which is super cheap. 
this is going to give you an additional 10% damage over that last pet, which is still a pretty significant damage because that increased damage is going to yield you that much more diamonds. And then finally, for you guys that have a whole team of huges, I would definitely suggest trying to get your hands on the best stat pet for the current update. Now, obviously, this stat pet is extremely expensive at any point during the update, but this stat pet is going to give you an additional 84% damage over that last stat pet, which is absolutely insane for the level of damage that you're already doing. Getting an increased 84% damage is pretty nuts, but it is worth it because that's affecting how much diamonds you are getting from grinding as well as your item. So if you're at this level and you're grinding for items, being able to do 84% damage is going to mean that you're going to be breaking all of those chests that much quicker and producing that much more loot. Now, the sweet spot for me is that I usually wait two days into an update to try to buy this because that's when the price seems to level off and not get as crazy. And right now, the current best stat pet is 100 million diamonds. Now, the majority of you will probably not invest in this best stat pet, but I would encourage you to try it for at least one update. And if you don't like it, you can immediately try to sell it and get your diamonds back. And a lot of times you are able to find really good deals on these if you are really patient and just keep checking the plaza. So I would be patient and just wait for these to be a good enough deal for you to consider using them. Now the next tip on the list is probably something you do know pretty well about because you have been using these on your way to the current point you're at in the game. Now in update 9 in particular it does seem like it is getting harder and harder to break the breakables in the final area and I have been seeing a lot of people say that it seems like they are making less and less diamonds and items in this update. Now I do think the only reason for this is because it is harder to break those breakables. So obviously people are going through less breakables overnight and essentially getting less items and diamonds. Now thankfully for this section the enchantment loadouts that you should use for damage are pretty simple as there are a lot that are actually very useful. Now obviously the goat of doing damage in Pet Simulator 99 are these critical books and at this moment in the game the critical nine book is the highest level that we do have which gives you a 26 percent chance to do five times the damage to a breakable now the reason why criticals is always going to be better than strong pets is because strong pets is additive and not multiplicative like criticals is and for that reason strong pets books just do not work very well and give you a significant amount less of a damage boost compared to the criticals book now i do have a lot of people asking me if this shiny supercharged book is any good because it increases the strength of your shiny pets by 100%. Now, I haven't personally tested this, but this sounds really bad, because if we take a look at the Strong Pets book, this says it increases the strength of your pets by 135%. And the Strong Pets book gives you an additional buff on all your pets and not just your shiny pets. So I'm not sure if this is just bad wording from big games, or if it really is just the worst enchant we've ever gotten in the exclusive shop. So until I can test that super shiny book, I would suggest not using it. I don't think anybody really is using it anyways, but it's just probably something I should mention in a damage video. And probably the only other enchantment book that is going to be useful in some circumstances is going to be the chest breaker book, which does give you an additional 200% damage to chests, which is actually kind of good for people that are farming with stacked enchantment books that spawn a lot of chests like the boss chest mimic, the diamond chest mimic, or the regular chest mimic. So if you are stacking a lot of these books, it might be pretty useful for you to be using this. And the last tip I'm going to give you for maximizing your damage in the game is that you should be constantly using all of your toys, all of your potions, and all of your fruits. Now the fruits are super easy to explain. You should just always have the max fruits that you can eat going at all times. Fruits are extremely cheap and they give you a ton of boost. So stacking them to the max that you can is always going to be beneficial for you because they are so cheap and give you so many benefits. In the same way, you should always be using your toy balls, toy bones, and squeaky toys 
because these are going to increase your damage a ton. And then the toy balls is going to increase how fast your pets do move, which also increases your damage in a different way. So those are also dirt cheap. So you should always be having them running no matter what. Obviously, I don't have them running because I do not grind on this account at all. This account is always in the trading plaza only. So don't say anything about that. And finally, in terms of potions, the damage 10 potion is what we currently have as our best potion which does an additional 150% damage for your pets. Now, personally, I would only use these damage nine potions. And if you do get your potions mastery up to level 90, you do get access to free upgrades for drinking potions sometimes. So using these damage nine potions are gonna upgrade your damage to the damage 10 potions, which is gonna give you a free additional 15% damage. So nothing too crazy, but these potions are only 10k compared to 90k for the damage 10, which is actually more damage than the cocktail for some reason. So I don't know if they just haven't buffed the damage on this thing quite yet, but the damage buff from these cocktails is only 100%. So using these is definitely something you're going to want to do, even if you do use the cocktail. Now that pretty much wraps it up with those five tips. You're going to be able to do an insane amount of damage to all the breakables you want and make an absolute ton of diamonds. I'm currently on break from school. So let me know in the comment section down below what types of videos you want to see, because I'm putting a lot more effort into these and it would mean the world if you could just let me know and give the video a like if you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.